Good Monday afternoon. Um, we are the Monday on a Monday, I'll tell you. So Stella had her puppies on the second and she's still on the expected litter page. But when you see this video, she's going to be on the for sale page. Um, I have not shot individual pictures of them yet. These were guys were born on 12-2 and they will be able to go home on January the 27th. I think it's what I have down. Um, so um, they will, um, their spay and neuter will be included in the price of the puppy. Uh, it's done by laser. If you're not familiar with our website um, and you're seeing this on YouTube, if you go ahead and hit the subscribe button, it will automatically notify you every time I post a video on YouTube and then it automatically goes over on my website. So um, a couple things about this litter, uh, tails and dew claws are finished. Uh, they have um, no dew claws, which I guess I told you, dew claws were done. Um, we do videos every week, sometime between Monday and Saturday. Lots of times we'll get on a rhythm where they're like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we don't get them on until Saturday, and people go, oh, aren't there going to be any pictures of my puppy? They're always on by Saturday. If I'm not on here by Saturday afternoon, there is a reason we're not, and it's usually not a good one. Unless like when we went on vacation a couple weeks ago, um, I did not post on there we were leaving because I didn't want people to know I was out of the country. <laughs> I don't like to leave everybody here that works here with nobody else here. So we kind of kept that one under wraps, but I'm not going anywhere for a while. Um, videos, um, like I said, are posted every week. We'll do a brand new video of each litter. I'll do a new group of photos for them this week and I'll put their baby pictures on. Oh, don't eat, don't suck his ear. He says, I'm hungry. Um, but I will not do photos until their eyes are open. So at about three and a half weeks old, we'll do their first set of pictures with their eyes open. Um, other than that, and then I do maybe one more set about five and a half, six weeks. And then that's all I do, uh, only because of time constraints. So we try and do videos, which gives you a more accurate, up-to-date look, and you get to see them at lots of different angles while we're doing it. So we're kind of moving away from so many photos and into the video mode, which is much easier for us. Does not take as much time away from the kennel, and um, that way you get more accurate, I guess, almost in-person type thing, pictures. Um, these guys are microchipped. The microchips were inserted, inserted in the back of their neck. That is there for the life of the dog. That number can't be changed unless you would have it surgically taken out for some reason. Um, we start giving them a bath the week their eyes open. So at two and a half weeks old or so, they're going to get their first bath, and then they'll get a bath every single week after that. And they get their toenails trimmed at least every seven to 10 days when they're eating um, from mom and nursing so much because their toenails grow like daggers. And they not only scratch mom's bellies, but they also can scratch each other's eyes, which causes issues. I know, I know, I know. So, um, Let's see, what else can I tell you? Um, nails are done, like I said. Um, we start plucking ears when they go home. So we pluck ears before they leave. And that's something you'll need to do about every nine weeks. Um, I'm gonna do a video on crates for these guys. I would, if you're gonna buy a crate, do not buy anything any smaller than a 36 inch crate. Make it a 36 inch or a 42, whatever you've got the room for. Putting them in a smaller crate does not make them house train quicker. Sometimes it actually causes you more problems because if they learn to lay in their own filth while you're working or you're gone for the day, they'll get to where they really don't care about it. So um, a 36 inch crate gives them a really great area. They can go to the back of the crate and go to the bathroom. You can just change the paper when you get home. And I'll have a couple tips and tricks when I put that video on about the crates that we do with ours in a place to get something that's so much better than wee wee pad. Um, I hate wee wee pads. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to mince words on that when I hate them. They're plastic. They slide on the bottoms of the trays. Then the dogs shred the top of it. And it's a mess. So I have always used white paper. Um, so I'm going to give you a couple sources where to buy white paper. And it's so much cheaper than wee wee pads. Uh, let's see what else. Um, 
the other thing is once you buy a puppy from us, please book your pickup time far enough ahead so you can get your puppy into the vet in the first three days you get the puppy home. Um, I like you to have them vet checked so you know that our vet didn't miss something and you don't come up three weeks later with a vet appointment and go, oh, my dog's got this. Well, yeah, but you could have caught that in the first three weeks. So I like you to get them checked right up front. So please, please do that. And I'll remind you a couple more times because people will say, oh, I didn't know I was supposed to have my vet check booked. Yes, book your vet check and book with us as soon as you can. That way, you've got plenty of time to get your puppy into a vet. Um, all right, so we're going to go through with these guys. There's, uh, we have a lot of parties in here. And a party means a predominantly white puppy with colored markings. It could be um, black and white markings, chocolate and white markings, blue merle markings. Oh, they're all going to lay sideways. I can almost do pigs in a blanket. Oh, I've got to try this while I talk. So... Um, there's also in this litter, there is a blue Merle that's a solid blue Merle, which is the one down here on the end I'm messing with. And uh, sometimes with these little tiny baby guys, we can do pigs in a blanket, which it doesn't, we don't always accomplish it. Sometimes we do. And they're kind of like, oh no, we gotta roll you over and tuck you in, put your little leggy over this one's neck. There you go. Now, see, we always have one guy that never wants to cooperate in the group. And this guy says, I want to turn over and I can't because this person's in front of me. Oh, and this one says, forget it. I do not want to do this at all. Lay down here, Jezbo. Lay down there. Okay. Oop, nope, nope, nope. There that one goes. We've lost control. So, yeah, our pigs in a blanket just aren't going to get it. Oh, no, wait a minute. Maybe I spoke too soon. Nope. He says, I'm not putting my arm over there. I don't want to put my arm around him. Can you lay down there and put your arm up? Lay down. There you go. Go to sleep. I'm just going to pet him for a minute. Get him calmed down. I put his little arm up here on top. He won't know I did it. Okay. We're almost there. Pigs in a blanket. I'm not even touching that one. He can't put his arm over anybody anyway. There we go. Okay. All right. So I did not put them down here in any certain order. I cannot tell you who's boys and girls yet. Um, so we're going to go through. This guy is breathing with his mouth on. <laughs> it's wide open. Um, all right. So let's turn on the scale. We're going to put them on a cold thing and wake them up. All right. Let's do microchip number. All right, Munchkin. You're just sleeping so sound. This one is a male. And I think there's only three boys in here and the rest are girls. Uh, this is 8811. This is a blue Merle party. So you can see the blue and the black speckles in the coat. He's got a beautiful face. Oh, I know you're squawking. Put me down, put me down. He's got blue under his arm, all white belly. He's gonna have everything you see pink on his face, on his cheeks is gonna turn white. Nose is gonna be black when it fills in. And he's got a little tiny dot up here on his head that's, okay, lay down. And it's almost uh, separated, but there's a little tiny spot. I'm going to weigh him while he's wiggling. He is 9.4 ounces. Okay, down you go, down you go. I know, now you're going to want to crawl. You want to lay down this way? There, lay down right there. Go to sleep. There you go. Okay. Now, let's pull this one out. This one is a female. It's a black female. She says, I'll just sleep through this. She's got white on these back feet. Both back feet are white. She's got white on this foot. She's the one that's got a cool foot. So look at her feet this way. These two are pink. This one is pink. This one looks like she's stuck it in the paint. This one's black. So I can't tell. I think they're probably all going to stay pretty much pink except the one foot, but they could change. Sometimes they do, and she's got a couple spots of black on that one foot. She's got a white on her chest, white up under her neck. You got a, you got a quick glimpse there. She's got a white goatee, tails docked, do claws are done. Oh, she says, just roll me over. All right, her microchip number is 8810. Okay, I'm gonna weigh you upside down. 
she is 10.0. I know, I gotcha. I gotcha. You went down there now. Lay down, just calm down, go back to sleep. She says, I gotta turn over. I'm not comfortable unless I turn over. Okay, down, down and done. All right, the next one in here is a black and white party. 8815. This one has a black tail with a white tip, rubber band still on the tip. Got a black dot in the head on the back. And the top of his cap of his head is all black. He's gonna have a black nose. Everything else around here that's pink is gonna be white furry hair with little black speckles in his in his cheeks. And he's got one black eye and he's gonna have black mascara around this eye. I know, I know, I know. All right, let's weigh in and get you down. 10.4 ounces. Okay, right here. There you go. Lay down. Let me hold you right there. I know. Get your motor running. This one down here is bound to roll somewhere. Come up here, kiddo. This is the littlest one in the litter. She is such a pea pod. You're a little pea pod, aren't you? Yeah, you're a little pea pod. She is cute. She's a blue merle, lots of really heavy black markings. She's 8806 is her microchip number. She's got a black tail, white tips on the back of her, on her back feet, I should say. It's easier if I turn them this way to show you the back feet. So she's got white tips on the back. I know you're back upright. White chest, a little bit of a white goatee. And she is 7.4 ounces. No, I know. There, you're up here. Is that better? Stella is mad. I hear Stella. We took her kids. All right. This is another um, male. Did I tell you if this one was a male or a female? It's a female. So the last one we did before the Merle was a female. Ah, oh, this is 8801. 8801 has a domino spot on her head and a Perfectly marked face, if I can turn her face your way. She's got that big white blaze up the front with a little dot at the top. She's got nice black and white markings on her back and her sides. All white belly. All these parties have all white bellies. And she's going to have a black nose and black eyes. All right, ready? I'm going to lay you down. 9.4 9 ounces. Okay. Okay. Curl up that one. You ready? All right. So this one is another female. And, oh, this is the one that's got the cool foot, too. So before she wakes up, look at her feet. All pink feet, but one foot. Looks like somebody dipped this in the paint. And from the top, it's still snow white. So it's so cool. It's like that. And this one has a tiny dot on the back of one pad. I don't know if these pads are going to turn or they're going to stay pink. Sometimes they'll turn, sometimes they don't. Oh, I know, you're all by yourself. Scoot over. Uh, really pretty blaze, nice broad face. Nice markings. She's got three dots. One, two, three. She's got three domino dots. And all white undercarriage. Yeah, all white undercarriage. Nose is going to turn black. It's already getting a little bit of black around the edge. And she is... 11, no, 10.8, okay. Oh Lord, now where did the one go that I just met, haven't done yet? <laughs> Do you remember which one it was? It wasn't one of the party morals. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I've done this one. I don't think you have either. I don't think I've done this one. This one I think we did up front. We did, this is the male. Didn't we do him first? This is the boy, too. Whee! There we go. Uh, oh, man, this is tough. This is 8807. i got to move you to make sure I'm not picking up somebody else. 8811. I think we did 8811 first. I'm pretty sure we did because I remember the black. So this is the one we haven't done yet. This is a blue merle male. 8807 is his number. Oh, my goodness sake. You guys are noisy. He's got a really pretty face, nice mark. He's got blue around both eyes, nice blaze. Nose is gonna be black. And he's got a little bit of, he's got one blue merle spot 
right under his tail on the side of his hip. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'll, I'll weigh in, we'll be done with him. This one's 8.4 ounces. Okay, you're down, you're down. Oh my goodness sake. Crawl in here. There, pack you in and that will make you okay. And you'll be happy. There you go. All right. Well, that's the skivvy on Stella's puppies. These are schnauzers. These are miniature schnauzers. These are not schnoodles. I should have said that up front. So these are out of Tigger and Stella. If you go clear to the bottom of Stella's website on the website, when you're in Stella's spot, oh, that's confusing. Go clear to the bottom under the um, information on Stella's litter and there's pictures of Tigger down there. He's a blue Merle and he's about 16 pounds. So um, this litter and um, the other two litters right now that are on the ground, are, the other two litters are gonna be bigger than Stella's and Ginger's litter will be about the same size as Stella's litter. So hopefully that's not confusing for the way I bundled that up and said that. Um, so if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call. Please don't email me. There's a chance I won't see it because right now, uh, with as much as we have going on in the kennel, it's more important that we spend the time with the puppies and the care of the dogs and the care of the puppies. I don't get on my emails much. So the absolute best way to reach me is always call me or text me. I don't mind at all. Um, I can always talk on the phone and work. I just put a, an earpiece in. So feel free to call me if you have questions. Um, and other than that, uh, have a great day. This is Monday. We got a long way to go before Saturday. So I hope you have a blessed week and a safe one. And we'll talk to you next week.